A question that I get quite frequently is why doesn't my drone fly? So either you just took it out of the box or you've had it for a while and it just randomly stopped working. Hopefully, if you follow the steps in this video, you can diagnose what the issue is and try to find a solution. There's gonna be two parts of this video. The first one is if your drone doesn't actually turn on, so there's no like indication lights or there's no transmission to your controller. The second part is if your drone does turn on and you are seeing like a live feed if you have a camera or the lights are blinking and everything's working but it's just not taking off, that's a separate issue from the first issue. So if your drone does not actually turn on, the first thing you should do is definitely charge your batteries. It's pretty obvious, but usually when you first take them out of the box, they're not charged really at all, or maybe just slightly charged. So definitely uh, make sure if you just got a drone and it's not working, charge your batteries, then put it back in and see if it works. If that does not work, you could have a bad battery. So you might wanna just check out and see if there's any damage to that, or if it's really old, sometimes batteries will just lose all of their charge and not be able to charge fully. Um, which can cause problems with voltage. So you may need to get a brand new battery just to be able to fly. Also, if you have any damage to the actual drone itself, like the internal components, if they got wet, if they got smushed, if they got damaged in any way, that is kind of a bigger issue. And you're gonna have to probably go to somebody professional who knows how to fix drones and electronics and stuff if you wanna get it back up and flying. Lastly, it could be like a manufacturing defect um, so if you think it might be that, then you can contact the company that you got your drone from and see if you can get some sort of a refund. Those are the biggest reasons for if your drone won't turn on. If your drone will turn on, there's a bunch more technical reasons why your drone might not fly. So if you have like the Phantom, I know I have had this issue quite a bit. You plug the battery in, you get everything turned on, you actually can see live footage from your camera to your phone or mobile device, and all the lights are blinking and it should be fine. But then when you go to start the drone, it does not take off. There's a couple of technical things that you can do to try to fix this. Um, personally, with my Phantom, whenever that happens, it usually give you a little message saying, like the aircraft is warming up not exactly sure why it needs to warm up but if you're like in a cold environment um, it actually can take up to a minute just to warm up to be able to fly which is kind of weird but it's it's picky and i'm actually glad that it does that instead of just um, not having that little safety feature and then if you like take it up right away before it gets to warm up you could have an issue so be patient if you have that uh, issue of your aircraft warming up it could also be a compass problem if you have a smart drone and knows that the compass is wrong or not calibrated. Uh, make sure to calibrate the compass and then check back and see if your drone does work after that. Lastly, it could also be a physical damage to the drone, like maybe your props are not uh, on the right way. That's, that's actually a really big uh, thing. So the props actually have a specific pattern that they need to go on. So if your propellers are actually spinning, but they're not going up anywhere, even if you give it full throttle, um, actually you may want to like switch around your props because there's usually an A and a B and they go in diagonal. So like A's will be on one side, B's will be on the other side. Um, so like on the back you have an A and a B and on the front you have a A and a B. Um, and I'm not exactly sure why this has to happen, but they, the motors spin in opposite directions. So if you have them on the wrong way, you want to just switch them around and then you can actually fly off. Just like with the drone not turning on, if you have any physical damage, that's probably why it's not flying. I know with these newer drones that have the smart technologies where they actually can send you information to your phone, they'll usually give you a message on uh, what the problem is. So definitely, if you have any questions about that, you can actually just search the message that the drone is giving you and you'll find tons of videos about uh, why it's showing that or what is going on and how to fix that. If your issue does not fit into any of these categories, you can always leave a comment down below and I will try to get back to you to see what the issue might be. B. There are several very helpful drone forum kind of things that answer a lot of questions. So if you have a very specific question, you can actually just look that up and um, see what that may be if it's specific to your drone, quadcopter, hexacopter, octocopter in particular. You can just look that up. But these are kind of just the general tips um, why your drone might not be turning on and how you can fix that. I hope this was helpful and as always, don't forget to keep it pro.